turned around, so I can't tell that we're live yet. So let me bring you up here. And welcome, welcome, IOD family. Here we go. Oh, my head's cut off. I'll just slouch for a second. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm Susan with The Withered Barn. And I have a quick, easy, little three-piece wall decor art project that I want to add into my dining room. Uh, I've got a little area that I've been thinking about this and I saw the new uh, wander transfer and I decided that's the one I want. I'm trying to add more color into my home because I went the whole farmhouse neutral colors and now I wanna switch it up and add a little more um, color and uh, I don't know, energy to my house instead of it being so neutral. So what I decided I wanted to do was take these um, three, I'm gonna stand up now, these three piece uh, pine boards is all they are. And uh, these were from a workshop. So I had them left over and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I want to kind of stagger them like this and hang them on my wall, but with the wander transfer. So let me know what you guys are doing today. And I wanted to make sure, because I kind of um, dry brushed this and left it raw. And I went ahead and put a little sample piece of a transfer on, which I always suggest, just in case you're not sure, do a little corner somewhere um, and make sure you're gonna get the adhesion you want. That way you can uh, adjust and add a water-based poly first if you need to and make it a little easier on yourself. So let me pull out this transfer and show you what my idea is. I may have to get a chair. Let me move this. Well, let me open it. How's your guys' weather back east? I've been watching it on the news. Oh, so, pretty. so that all the transfers come with your little applicator tool and it's really good. I have not cracked one yet and I'm a really hard presser. So on my project boards, oh, so pretty. The Wander transfer is kind of like a watercolor image. You guys can see it, I hope, without a glare. But what I want to do is I want to do it upside down, so like it's dripping. And I'm going to have to cut it and pull it to the sides a little more to make it fit my vision. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to get it cut. And we've got the amazing grid lines on our protective paper. I got a different scissors, what I do with it. Let me see, how much do I need to, an inch maybe? Two inches? Yeah, so let me slide that out, there we go. So I'm gonna go right about here for one. And then this one, I wanna slide this direction a little more. Change my mind. I'm going to scoot it in more. One inch, one inch. That looks good. And that looks good. Okay. That looks better. And I'm going to cut straight down my grid. And that one is gonna go on this piece. This is be the top. Let me slide down here. And cut 
my next piece. You guys get all your holiday shopping done? I got all mine done, but my kids are pretty much grown. All I have to buy is um, grandkids. But I still get um, stocking stuffers. I wrap every single item so that my adult children can unwrap everything in their stocking. It's just fun. It's cute to watch how excited they get over a roll of lifesavers, <laughs> being that they're adults. Okay, this is going to be so pretty. So I think I'm going to start with this one right here. I'm going to set these, these aside. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it sideways just so I get more leverage. I'm going to scoop uh, back so you guys can see me a little better. Everything's backwards from what I'm seeing over here. So I'm gonna remove my protective backing. And put this right on here. And I want this to go all the way to the top, I think. And I'm grill measuring, just eyeballing it. Kind of centering it everywhere. You know, I think the, um, the three-piece wall art was that really big, like in the 90s, I think. Where it was one, one image and split into threes. And that's kind of the idea I want to do. Let me turn it this way now and I'm going to rub. Let me take this off, I'm getting stuck. Okay, you can tape your paper down if you want to, if you're more comfortable. I'm okay with just holding it in one place, using my applicator, and transferring my image onto my board. Now you can see how all of a sudden this looks gray. That means my image adhered to my board. Now it's not furnished in yet. We'll do that next. And this is, ready? Very textured board. So I'm gonna have to really make sure all of my bits and pieces are down. Another thing, it's pine, so it's soft. So I don't wanna gouge it anywhere that there isn't already a texture. You guys have questions or comments make sure you put them down in there and if I don't get to you right now I will go back through and review everything answer every single one of your questions and you can see I got to get in these grooves right here because it's super heavy textured so I'm just going to turn my applicators kind of sideways to get it in those grooves. I want to show you what I mean. Flip this up. So where it was grayed out, it's completely stuck onto the board right there. Here it's not yet. And you know what? Somebody told me a, a, a trick, or no, they didn't tell me, I was watching their video that in order to see comments, if we type a comment in, all of a sudden we can see comments. But I'm not, I'm not seeing any comments, so still not working. Oh, I see them. It did work. Who told me that? I think it was, I, I saw it on Jane, um, Mixed Media with Jane. She mentioned to type the word hello. So hi everyone. Hi Sabine. Hi Luz. Hi Angie. Hi Terry. Nice to see you on here.
Carrie was here over the weekend doing um, some free gift wrap stamping using some of the IOD stamps. I think I'm going to have to do my air bubble trick here. Kind of get this rubbed down a little quicker. Hi, Jill from Australia. Erica from Mexico. Becky, dumb question. Could you center this instead of mostly to the left? Center the transfer? I'm going to go ahead and fold this over a second and see if I can get a little air bubble going. And all that's doing is putting air under my transfer. So I can get it to stick a little easier and a little better. so vibrant. I love it. I'm sure my hubby, Farmer Joe, is going to be shocked when he sees color on the wall. Because like I said, everything in my house is neutral. The uh, brightest color is a gray-blue, and it's very neutral also. <laughs> Yes, the transfer. Yes, absolutely. You can center it however you want to. Um, you, don't, you don't even have to cut the transfer if you don't want to. You can apply it as is, or you can even trim out your flowers. You can do it however you want. There's no right way, no wrong way. I wish, can you guys see how that's working with that bubble? So all I did was fold it and it gets a little air bubble into there and it helps to release it, especially on like this high textured board where I don't have to push as hard. And I'll actually burnish it in in a minute with my fingers and that's when I'll actually get it to stick really good. I'm gonna fold it over again. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it just so you guys can see. Normally I wouldn't cut the paper till I'm done. Put that aside. Becky, most of the stockists do carry all of the transfers. And we all usually ship as well. But if you're having a problem finding a stockist in your area, and you can't find one on the IOD website locator, please just click the contact form on there. Let them know where you're at and what you're looking for, and they will do their best to find a stock this close to you. You gotta think, this is, these transfers, IOD is a specialty, decor item. So it's not going to be everywhere and that's what makes it special. Hold it again. Oh, it's looking so pretty. I can't wait. I'm going to hold it up for you guys. I'm going to show you. We're going to burnish it in with my hand. I'm not going to sand this particular one back to distress it more and I'll tell you why. I um, did another project, um, I don't remember when it was, um, some of the transfers are not as distressable as others because of the color. So we've got such an opaque color here 
in order for it to be so vibrant, it's got to be on a backdrop. So the backdrop is your white transfer, and then the color is printed over the top. So this particular one cannot be um, sanded or it'll turn white. But a lot of the other ones you can. So if you're not sure, do like I said, do a little test area first. Do what you want to do, what you're imagining. Try it out first and then come back and apply your transfer. You love it already? No, I'm not using the brayer, Becky. I'm using the applicator tool. Tammy, this wood um, was left over from a workshop. And where did I get this? I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. No, 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 I got them at Michael's. That's where I got them. Um, when their wood was uh, on sale. And so they came pretty ready to go. They actually had a strap on them. And I like them because they're lightweight. If I make our own wood projects or I have Farmer Joe make the wood, it's really hard to find this lightweight wood at Home Depot and Lowe's. So when I find them on sale, I grab them. But you could totally do this on a canvas, like a three-piece canvas. You could go to the thrift store and find a three-piece set of something that was so in style back when, but not so much now. Paint it and give it a makeover. You can find really good deals that way and be creative. Okay, we're almost done. So pretty. I was kind of torn about leaving it the dry brush, but I really like it. ready. Now I'm going to take my little applicator tool because like I said, this is heavily grooved and I'm going to go in my little grooves and make sure my transfer is down. So this is how it's going to hang this way. So this is the top, that'll be the bottom. So see these grooves where it's like a, whoops, like it's a um, beadboard almost. I'm just gonna take my little tool and squish it all down in there. Same up here, because I don't want, when I put my clear poly, I don't want it getting up under there and lifting my transfer. So I need to smash that down. anywhere okay so do our grooves and then I'm going to go back with my fingers and make sure I don't have any air bubbles Air bubbles are your enemy when you're putting a top coat on. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so now I'm going to just use my fingertips. I don't have any lotion on my hands. I have found that I'm a, I'm a lotioner. So if I've lotioned my hands up and then I got to work on a transfer, the oils transfer, and sometimes it kind of eats and dissolves it. So I always make sure I don't put lotion on when I'm doing transfers. So I'm gonna just lightly take my fingers, make sure I don't hear or feel any air bubbles. As 
as well as making sure it has made contact with my board everywhere. And I'm just moving in a section at a time to make sure I don't miss anything. These designs are so amazing. I just keep looking at them. I love that we've got this watercolor, we've got a solid, and then we've got like a stamped imprint. I love it. Okay, any, I've got an air bubble right here. I'm gonna use my little tool and just smash it down in there. There we are. I'm gonna do the other three in a little while, but I wanna show you guys how I'm gonna to top coat it. So there's one finished panel. We're gonna be doing a set of three. At the beginning, I thought the wood you're using was too dark. I know, that's what I thought too. And I thought, no, I really want like it to be vibrant at the top, which is why I turned the whole thing upside down, the um, transfer because normally the transfer looks like that. So I wanted it upside down so it was more vibrant here and kind of fades off. And I really love it. I love it. So let me pull out. I'm just gonna use, we're gonna top coat this one so I can let it dry. Hold on, I've got another groove. So I just have a water-based poly. And I'm going to get it right all over the top. And this is a non-yellowing. Making sure to cover all of my transfer. It's so pretty. Look at that. So I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to finish the other two boards. And I will make sure I post um, a photo of the finished trio for y'all. And again, this is the Wander Transfer IOD. I carry them here at my shop, The Withered Barn, or you can look for your local stockist uh, on the IOD website, or if you're having trouble finding a stockist that carries the product you're looking for, be sure to click on the contact form, let them know where you're at, what you're looking for, and they'll do their best to find what you need. You guys have a great day. I'll see you next Tuesday, same time. Bye-bye.